Hello guys, so welcome to SETV Presence Tech View. Another episode today, I'll show you how you can resolve the issue. What the issue? The issue is Vicenta root password expired or resetting the root password. And also how we can disable the Vicenta password policy to avoid the expiration again. So that's what I'm, I'm gonna show you. Vicenta root password, uh, you need only when, when, you, when you're gonna try to log in uh, the center appliance management. And that time you need root password. And also if you need to access B center through the party session, in that case you need. So uh, after you install the B center uh, from, the BM, uh, from the BMR appliance management, which is like B center appliance management, if you don't change the root password expiration, like it is gonna be expired within 90 days. But if you, you should be disable it, most probably most of the time people usually disable it. But but if you forget to disable the password expiration for your BMR appliance management, which is Bcenter appliance management, then what will happen? I'm going to show you here what's happened with my case. What is this? Exception in uh, invoking authentication uh, handler user password ex expired. So my user password is expired because I forget to disable that 90 days expiration limit. You can, ex you can uh, uh, extend the time or you can disable it. So how are you gonna now recover your root password or reset the password? That's what I'm gonna show you right now. So let's get started. Um, so there's a multiple ways you can do that to here. It's not working, right? So what I can do, my B Center is working. So B Center, if I know the B Center password or or or, or IP address, I know the IP address 192.168.1.40, there's the B Center, and I'll be able to log into the B Center. This is the B Center a web console. So it's primary.local, I know. So with this user, you can log in at least. With this user, you can log in here. Instead of root, you can log in like this, and you can log in here. See, you're able to log in, but you're not able to see the administration tab where you can change the password. So why you are logging with this administrator in here? The only thing you can do, which is access, if you go to the access, the bash, see here, SSH login is enabled, but bash shell is not enabled. So you can enable bash shell from here to the, from the GUI mode, or, or if you don't do that from here, what you can do, you can, through the command line, you can do that. So I'm going to do it from here, since I'm log, I already logged in here. Bash shell enable, shell enable uh, for how long? It's a minute, so you can say just for like 60 because it's it gonna take time when I do the my uh, troubleshooting, right? So I just say, just say for 60 minutes. It's gonna be enabled for 60 minutes. After 60 minutes, it's gonna be disabled again. All right, so I'm, I'm done from here. I, so I, I just show you, I just showed you how you can change the base shell enable, right? For 60 minutes, whatever we did, right? So, and now I'm showing you another way how you can, Enable the bash shell if it is disabled. So uh, go to the your base center and go find out the base center BM and open that BM on the browser as a, as a console. So like this. So what I'm gonna do F2, right? This is the another way. So root, this root password is gonna be work? No, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it's gonna be work. Only the old password is gonna be work here. Okay, configure, configure root password, sometimes it's not work if it is expired. So our password is already expired. It then that's why this root configure root password is not gonna work. So go to the troubleshooting mode operations and bash cell. Now it's already enabled, right? So you have to just enable it like this, enable, okay? And then exit and skip, exit, right? Now you should use what? 
party session. Sorry, it's party, right? It didn't take that long. Okay, again. Okay, so we have to enable share because it's not giving me. Share. Okay, now you can say PA double press WB. PA double S WB. And then new password. And, All right, so new password, retry the new password, password updated successfully. And now we can exit, right? Exit. Okay, done. So now try it. Now I'm going to try it here. And that, oh, sorry, my 92.168.1.40, clone 5480, which is this is the server plans, right? All right. So now I'm going to try with the root and the new password, the one I said, it, right? All right. So now I'm able to log in. And now what you should do, the one I forget previously, see password validity days, 90 days, right? So every 90 days, before 90 days, you have to change your password but if you don't want to change your password what do you have to do you just need to disable this one how are you gonna do that you can say password ready days you can increase the days password expression yes if you say no then it's not never gonna be expired that's it that's all and that's how you can uh that's how you can change your password, or if you forget your password, you can re enter your password. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. And if you like this video, please share with your uh, friends or colleague or coworker, whoever needed. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.